know if I've been recording this whole time. Okay, a quick rundown if I haven't been. I'm going to be using the Myel um, conditioner right now. And it's basically what I have in my head. I thought I was recording. Oh my god, I hope my camera just glitched out for a second. Because I've been doing this. And I recorded my hair before and everything. What in the world? It just said my camera was going to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just uh, putting conditioner on my head and then I'm gonna leave it in while I eat lunch. So I thought I was filming before I started washing my hair and as it turns out I've just been taking pictures. So here's a couple pictures of I guess what my hair looked like when I started after I shampooed um, and now we're at the point where my deep conditioner was in and I just washed it out. So the deep conditioner that I use, I'm, I'm literally out, there's nothing left in this container, is this one right here. and. It's empty and after my second use, so this is my second use of this stuff. And it is a protein free deep conditioner, all moisture, all day baby. Yeah, so this is basically gonna be like a Myel product video. The only product that I didn't use from Myel is the shampoo. It is their Mongongo oil conditioner. It is protein free. Uh, it provides intense hydration, protein-free conditioner for versatile styling. And the instructions say to, after shampooing, apply to clean wet hair and gently comb through from roots to ends, leave on for 15 minutes, and then rinse thoroughly. Now, I don't know where I realized that my camera wasn't actually recording and that I was taking pictures, but hopefully it was before I put this in my hair, because I, I don't remember. And um, for my styler, I'm gonna be using the Myel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. And then on top of that, I'm going in with the Myel Twisting Souffle. This is what I've been using for the last three months. It could be longer. I, I feel like it's been three months and I'm almost out of this. I'm hoping I can get through a whole head of this product, but I'm like basically right there. This product isn't sponsored. I just really enjoy it. I love this combination. I have a ton of this leftover, so I just have to re-up on this one. And I've only used these together. I don't know how this works by itself and I don't know how this one works by itself. Um, but maybe I'll do that at some time in the future, but I'm using them together. So again, I'm using this Myel and then this Myel. Come on, Myel. So I'm using, <laughs> I'm definitely running out of my leave-in conditioner. I'm hoping I have enough for the front. I already did the back because I wanted to do that off camera. Um, I was actually supposed to, I ended up doing the whole back, but I was supposed to do like half and half, but now I'm in the front and it is drying out a little bit. So I might have to add in some more water. I have my spray bottle here, but um, I'm just gonna do it and then fast forward through.
I almost just took down my hair without showing you guys. So this is the next day. I just got off of work uh, maybe like an hour ago. And or like an hour, two hours ago. Um, and it's nighttime now, so that's when my lighting looks different. I hope I'm in focus, but basically to take down my hair, I use some olive oil. Um, this is the way I've been doing it for forever, either I use olive oil or I'll use this stuff, the Garnier Fru Fructis, um Moroccan Sleek. But today I'm gonna use olive oil because I want to. And I also do one of these where I get like in between my fingers because um, it helps. I, I feel like it helps to separate the curls. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll twist in the opposite direction of the way I twist it in the first place. So whatever the direction was, I will untwist in the opposite and then I'll pull like that. And usually it'll go all the way up, but sometimes it'll hit a snag. Whenever I'm doing braid outs, I try to make sure that I'm not pulling from the different sections and I'm just staying with that section, if that makes any sense. But yeah, and then this is one out and
Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I kinda like these two little things in the front and the rest of it being out, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna make a clothing haul video for TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, I'd say look out for me there. I'm not gonna do it for YouTube, but I'm just gonna do it for TikTok, I think, cause it would, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've ever tried the Miel products, let me know if you recommend anything from them. I really like how their hair products do my hair. Um, I <laughs> I can't tell in the camera, but uh, it, it's really defined in person. I do have a little bit of frizzy bits, but that's because I was getting annoyed with how long it was taking. Because it is pretty late at night, and uh, I just want to finish my videos and go to sleep because I am sleepy. Um, but yeah, it is pretty defined. It's very soft since I did that uh, moisturizing treatment thing. I think the next treatment I'm going to do is going to be a protein to keep that moisture protein in check, in balance. Um, but yeah, I really like their products. I will continue to use them. I'm hoping I can find some more that I like from them, but the ones that I'm using right now are really Working good for my hair, so I'm gonna keep using those. I need to re-up on that leave-in conditioner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any requests for videos, let me know. Um, I can see if I can do something else like this. I haven't done a hair video in a long time, so. Here you go as a treat. I'm so sleepy. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.